If you're working on Webflow or any sort of websites really, and you want to sort of take them to the next level, then being able to understand and use JavaScript is going to make a big difference. On today's video, I sort of want to show you how I'm using some JavaScript to create or to allow some of my users to go into my website and then be able to filter to different case study options. Like let's say they want to filter only for Webflow options or projects that I have created with Webflow, Maybe they just want to see projects that I have created with WordPress, maybe DAX, maybe anything else that I have created for um, previous clients. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that with a JavaScript library or code that is already created for you. So all you have to do is apply it. What's going on guys, my name is Leopoldo Perella and if you're new to the channel, I do videos about web to design, UX design and the overall design process and I also share with you my journey as I build my career in the web and tech industry. On today's video, as I said before, we are going to be working with some JavaScript, but we're not going to be coding anything from scratch because if you know about um, FN Suite, they have created an amazing library or what they call hacks with different JavaScript code that all you have to do is take or duplicate and bring it down to your website and it will work almost right away. So let's dive into my computer so I can show you what I'm talking about. So now that we're in my computer, I sort of want to show you something that I have already created and sort of give you the idea of what it is that I actually want to create. So if we are in our my resources page, this is where I'm going to be posting blog content. I'm going to post in some Webflow templates and other things that I think will be helpful for you and for my clients. Um, I already have created sort of like a different category for that. So let's say you do want some Webflow um, content, you just click Webflow. Let's say you want some WordPress content, you click WordPress. Maybe you are looking for a startup um, content or a podcast or anything like that. Um, you will be able to just click all of them and be able to filter for what you actually looking, are looking for. And then of course, if you just want to see all of them, you just click all. So now that we are in what will be the home page, and by the way, I have not shown this to anyone else. This is the first time I'm putting it out there. Uh, what we want to do is that we want to scroll down and on this scroll here we have the same we have similar options so what I want to do is as I said before let's say when someone comes into the website and they want to search for just Webflow projects they should be able to click Webflow when they want to search for just um, WordPress or code based projects or you know minimal viable products I have created before they should be able to just click the option and get to where they want. So I haven't found a way to do this natively with Webflow. The only way that I have done it in the past was sort of to create different CMS libraries so that when you click, um, let's say on UX or you click on Webflow, then it takes you to a separate page where all the Webflow content will be posted or the WordPress and so on. But I want to make sure that to keep them all in one page because I don't really want them to have to navigate somewhere else to be able to see um, the end result. So I went on and I searched for FN Suite because I know um, they always talk about the different libraries they have created with JavaScript and different code and hacks and all that. And I found this actual clonable project that you can just go ahead and clone. And here you will see that it has um, one of the categories that they have is filters. And that's exactly what we're looking for. And um, what I want to do is I just want to filter exclusively by one category. If we go ahead and we click on all the pages, you're going to be able to actually get to the back end of this code. So right now, um, they did an amazing job here explaining how they do. They did it. I'm just going to sort of do the exact same thing. So the first thing that we want to do is sort of we want to take the code from the, um, the JavaScript code that we're going to be using. So if you click on the page, and then you click on the settings of the page um, and just scroll all the way down. We are going to see this and this is where you can just copy this and then head over to your page and then and then head over to your page and just do the same thing. Just um, paste it where you, you got it from. So we can put it right here. And this is pretty much just 
selling um, Webflow, what to do um, with the collection list and all that. So one of the things that you need to keep in mind when you're working with JavaScript is that the classes need to be similar or you or what you have to do is just sort of change the classes that you see here. So for example, like filter wrapper and collection list, these are classes that are being pulled from your page or from the collection list um, that you have created. So just make sure that all of it is the same. So, so because I've sort of created this already on the on my um, resources page, what I did is I just brought it over to my um, to my home page, and now I just need to make sure that this collection list is collection list two. Uh, we can just name it um, case studies list, and we're gonna copy this. And we're gonna go to the code again. And right here, we're just gonna change this to our CSS class. And we're gonna click save. We're gonna click publish. Then let's see if it works. And there you have it. So as you can see in just about what, three minutes or so, we were able to create an entire filter for um, different categories over on Webflow with a code that has already been created for us. So this is one of the reasons why, um, so this is one of the reasons why working with Webflow is so great because you already have people like um, guys from FN Suite who have taken their time to be able to create code like this, that if you just take your time to understand a little bit of the JavaScript they have written, and know which are classes and which are the classes that you have to change, it will be very easy for you to take that website to the next level. So guys, I hope you found that helpful. I will be creating more tutorials on Webflow on this specific website because it's my personal website so I can share it out there. Um, there are a couple other things I want to do with it. I'm going to be doing also some like SEO um, tutorials for Webflow actually um, on this website because one of the things I do want it is to rank so if you're interested in seeing more videos like this or if the ones I talked about, like the SEO part and all that, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell button so whenever I post the next video, you get a notification and I will see you again in the next video.